What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Today I'm actually pulling the forces right back off the truck and I know I just put them on literally in last week's video, but I have some towing to do and I also have some traveling to do for vacations and whatnot. I'm driving the truck and honestly, if you haven't noticed in the last video, the 420s on this truck are the old school 420s that they haven't made in like five years. And these things are in some pretty bad shape. Let's check these out. All right, so for example, I did put the better of the four wheel and tire assemblies up on the front of the truck. You can see that they're, you know, they're pretty rounded off on the edges up here. But overall, I mean, tread ain't terrible up front. But then I, I put the worst of the, like I said, I put the worst tires on the rear. And you can see, these are really shaving pretty good on the on the rears. And I, I forget which side it is. I'm actually almost kind of showing some cord, if you will. Let me see. There are actually some dry rot and whatnot, like around these corners. I know I had it. There's like parts of the tire kind of coming apart. And like I said, I got some towing needs to do, literally like tomorrow, um, as of when I'm filming this video. And then I'm going on vacation and uh, got quite the driving to do. Probably got a couple thousand miles to put on in the next couple weeks. So I want to take these off just because I don't really think it's safe. But the funny thing is, funny thing is, some people noticed last week, some people didn't. I don't know, I'll be 100% honest, I never had forces before. I got these wheels on backwards. So this is how the wheels are supposed to go, where they're kind of swooping, I guess, if you will. Look what I did for the rears. I put the rears on as uh, like they're digging. So I never noticed after putting these wheels on, filming, taking photos, all kind of stuff. I got the wheels on backwards. So fronts are good, rears are not. So I had no clue, but American Force wheels are I guess proper directional. So uh, they look good on a truck. You'll see them back on this truck here um, probably pretty soon, but for right now, unfortunately, I do have to take them off. So since I had to take the forces off, I thought it would be a cool opportunity and a fun opportunity, I guess, apologize for my shadow, to kind of compare the three sets of wheels and tires that I currently have here for the truck. The truck's chilling on a, on a jack and a jack stand, don't worry, it's safe. So I figured it'd be a good idea to kind of compare this. So the three sets of wheels and tires that I have are of course the stock 18 by 8 wheels that come on the big horns and I actually have these wrapped in a Toyo Open Country AT3 and the size on these guys are an LT29570 which is supposed to measure out to be about a 34 and a half so I call these a 35 it's not a true 35 by 11 inch wide and we'll get into more detail here in a second these guys over here are the wheels I bought probably a month or so ago eh, I guess let's call it like three or four months ago I guess now and these are actually a fuel siege it's 20 by 10 inch wheel and I got these wrapped in a 33 by 1250 uh, a Toro Trailblade XT tire and these things are really nice I just bought these and then of course last week I just ended up splurging and bought myself a set of used American Forces this is a 22 by 12 American Force Jade SS wrapped in a Nitto 420 305 45 um, obviously 22 inch tire so actually looking at them looking at them all this way so the wheels and tires on the forces should be about the same size actually as what you have here with my Toros and fuels and then of course the Toyos here in the middle on the stock wheels you got um, I mean it's almost like a 35 so it is gonna be a little bit taller but then if you like look at the widths it's gonna be hard to tell I guess I mean I have terrible lighting with the Sun but it's just funny looking at three different styles kind of like a mud tire if you will also like a mud tire the street tire set up it's, it's also just funny because that's an 18 inch wheel that's a 20 inch wheel and that is a 22 inch wheel and just looking at the 22 versus the 20s that's the same basically it's a 33 inch tire there 33 inch tire there you got a lot more meat on the Toros than you do with my Nittos I broke the scale out because I do want to weigh these two just to see what is your heaviest setup what is your lightest setup the American Force is obviously a forged wheel and these two are just gonna be like an aluminum but all right, so first I want to weigh a stock wheel and tire. I mean, that's not a stock tire, but first I just want to weigh the stock wheel and Toyo Open Country tire. So if I pull this onto my scale, pull this onto my scale, I'm scaled at 96 pounds. And let me do that one more time. That's, that seems pretty light. Do that one more time. Boom, same same thing, 96 pounds. So that's actually kind of surprising for such a heavy tire. But once again, that is a stock wheel and it's only 18 inch. So, so let me do the fuels next. Let me move this guy over. 
I love these Toyos, by the way. The tread pattern is awesome. They're super quiet, they're smooth, they balance great. Keep those guys right there. Let me do one of the fuels. Fuels and a Torres. All right, fuels and a Torres. Let me roll it up on the scale. We got 100 pounds, 0.8. So 100.8 pounds. Not sure if you can see that because the sun. It's 100.8 pounds. I'll do that one more time. Yep, same thing, 100.8 pounds. You really, you gotta look to see that because of the sun, but 100.8 pounds. So kind of surprising that uh, it's a smaller tire, um, but that weighs, I mean, four pounds. It's a four pound difference, basically 96 versus 100 and you know some change, but uh, that's awesome. Time for the forces. Now this is gonna be the interesting one because I have no clue how much, I know forces are known to be kind of heavy, any kind of fuel, well, any kind of forged wheel, I guess. And these do, it is nice to note, I guess, these have balancing beads in them. These are just like balanced like a normal wheel and tire. So let's weigh the forces. Uh, wow, I'm actually very blown away by that. 92.2 pounds, that's it? What? I assume these were way heavier. Same thing, 92.9. That honestly blows my mind. But here, real quick, see what I'm saying? Why these Nittos, I really don't want to drive long distance or tow heavy with them. They're not in good shape. I'm very, very surprised that the forces weigh less than anything else here. Like basically 92 pounds, 96 pounds, and 100 pounds. So they're not off, really, they're not really off too much at all. But that really surprises me now. I guess I will say, the Toyos, this is the beefiest tire I have. It is the biggest tire, so like, I guess, with all these big lugs and stuff, I guess you would add up a lot of weight. This is like a freaking street performance tire with really not a whole lot of tire left to it. And then my fuels, man, my fuels and my Toros, it's fairly medium grade tire, um, nothing too crazy, but that shocks me. That actually shocks me. What tire would you take? Like what wheel and tire combination would you take? 22 by 12 forces, obviously a deep dish wheel, Polished, of course, very dirty. Stock wheel here, Bubba truck look, if you will, 18 inch wheel. Basically, I call this a 35 inch tire. Or then we got our concave fuel wheels, which is just a 20 by 10, so nothing crazy. Um, and a pretty, I mean, they call this a hybrid tire, but a, I think it's kind of an aggressive looking tire. So, what are you taking? What wheel and tire combination are you taking if it were yours? Let me know in the comments below. And that's it guys. I honestly just wanted to do a little fun experiment, if you will, while I had to swap the wheels and tires on the truck again. I uh, did a surprise use the forces way less than like a stock wheel and even like my uh, my fuels. I Now that I'm towing and going on vacation, maybe I should keep the forces on because I'll get the best fuel mileage. But crazy to me, either way, that's it. Short video, like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe, join the family, join the Cummins build, no matter which wheels it's on. And I'll see you guys next week, peace.